Okay, hi everyone. So, I don't know, this could be something big. Uh, a long time ago, this uh, drawing came out, and Steve Epp one made a video, I think, on it, and this Antonez guy in uh, Lithuania, Free Energy LT, uh, posted this on his site. So, uh, it's been kind of in the back of my mind for a long time, but just finally, having gotten back to the Makula Kapanads device, look back at it, uh, if this is actually from the source, uh, it says here, uh, Teriel gave it to the world, I think is what it says. So not really going by this necessarily, but uh, this drawing here is what I used as a model to put this together. So first off, let's just start with it turned off. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay, so, um, you know, as far as my experience modeling circuits and watching what other people have built and that sort of thing, um, it's uh, doing some pretty neat stuff. This could really be it. So right now we've got primary oscillating just 60 hertz, something that uh, like an inverter could do. Uh, 40 microfarads, that is important. You can't truly resonate the primary, it'll change what happens uh, in the rest of this here. So we've got uh, three different 100 watt light bulbs, 120 watts, uh, 120 volts, 100 watts each. And so here we've got uh, the primary running here and current trace in red. So um, I've put together some rough numbers. We'll do that at the end. I've got them just saved on the calculator here. But um, <clears throat> so right now you can see that it's in short circuit. So we've got a little bit of current running in the circle here. So really quick, I'm just going to turn it on and off. Pretty cool. Does a little flare, you know. And then we got the lights running normally after that. Which in itself is pretty good. Uh, but we can see the current and voltage trace here orange and red on the input, blue and green on the output. So let's shut it off again, because just having that running is uh, something. And we'll shut it off and we'll see it just flatline here, right? So we're left with the input current and voltage. So we'll switch that back on. Lights come on, great. Switch it back off. Flat lines, back on. Now, let's take the capacitor out of shunt. See, it's just base of the primary to uh, base of the secondary. But let's connect this. Wow, look at the lights, self-destruct, capacitor pumping, that's this guy here, unbelievable, now let's switch it off. Mm. Look at that ring down. Look at how long it takes to ring down. Incredible. Look at this. Lights on fire. This capacitor fully running. Switch it off on the full cycle of the capacitor. Wow. 
unbelievable. This is really unbelievable. Wow. Okay, let's turn it down to where the lights are not on fire. <laughs> 40 volts. Look at that. Still. Wow, look at the current voltage traces. Let me turn this whole thing uh, back to normal. Normal mode. Still got light. Still got action. Just regular though. The input's clearly higher current traces than the uh, output. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. So now let's turn this back to 120 volts. Unbelievable. Look at that. Okay, so <clears throat> I've put this together already, so I didn't have to do it on camera, but we've got uh, 465 volts on the output. Each light current trace is at 4 amps. <laughs> Input voltage, 120 volts. Input current on the highest 1.81 amps. Output voltage maximum peak 658 volts. Current on the light bulb that's on fire. In green, here's the 4 amp line. Let's just say 4 amps. So preliminary numbers would be 162 watts on the input, 2,900 watts on the output. So we could keep adding, you know, 29 light bulbs before they stopped uh, igniting on fire. Unbelievable. Turn this all off. Watch it ring down like that. Unbelievable. Okay, let's turn it back on. We'll shunt the capacitor again on a full cycle. Now we'll switch it off. Now we'll just turn this capacitor back on. Watch it ring down again. Wow, from a negative cycle. <laughs> Unbelievable. And in phase. The output is in phase. My god. Back to normal. Voltage current traces. Inputs way higher. Wow. Unbelievable. So, regularly in my circuits, you know, you get it running pretty good, but uh, this is really incredible. <laughs>